and welcome back to the last version of our video series on constructing the OMA robotic arm and welcome back to Chuck's robotics workshop okay so what we're going to do at this point is we're going to take a look at our our rod here our rod uh, while the Z bend is facing south the other Z-Bend is facing west. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our servo horn just like this, stick it in like that, that's ready to go. We're going to position right like this our other Z-Bend, right like so, and put our servo in our servo horn and just like that and let's take a look at our assembly the CD the cap the pill jar inverted pill jar the upright the servo plate mounted with the servo in roughly in the center with some double-sided tape and our gripper assembly our small three millimeter nut and bolt there, nut and bolt here, and then our small spacers in here and here, and we top it off with these these green ends. At the time of the uh, the kits when they come out, they may or may not have those green ends. Uh, we may come up with uh, a little friction tape or something else that we may want to put on the end. Well let's take a look at this let's take our joystick controller and let's hook that up now remember when you hook up your joystick controller um, you have to plug it in to where it makes contact with the two connections here. We open up our gripper, close and lift. Okay, we have a little sticking problem here. Let's see what's causing that. Oh, okay. This, uh, this wire here, uh, I usually put a little bit of a bend in there right about there just to keep that from happening should be nice and smooth now and then we'll bend this in just a little bit and that's really nice about this aluminum it's very flexible you can bend it to just about whatever shape you'd like Try to bend the other way. Still having a little bit of a problem here. Something's just a little too tight. So I'm going to take a 5 16 inch wrench. Unfortunately, this is happening right now because it's good that we have this on video rather than you have a problem at home. We'll loosen that up a little bit. Loosen that up a little bit. You want to hold that wrench at the same time. There we go. Let's see. That looks good. Alrighty. And there we go. So just watch your area. Well, still hanging up on something. Ah, okay. This this is definitely in not in the right position. Let's get that in a proper position there. And there we go. And that's what you want. You want your robotic arm to open nicely and close nicely. And we can pulse it.
again, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time at Chuck's Robotics Workshop.